Okay, so I just want to um, talk about this quickly. Um, this is a thought that has been going on in my head. And this probably isn't going to be uploaded until like the 7th or whenever. Um, you know, the, the closest day I can basically upload what I want. Uh, so that's Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday or Thursday probably. Um, so, yeah. I just want to talk about this thought that's been going around in my head. So, um, shortly after Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were announced, um, it was revealed that, that um, Game Freak are working on, um, you know, core names, you know, like core Pokemon games for 2019. Now, that's literally all we, the information we've been given. Um, but an interesting thing has been found in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Uh, Spear Pillar, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm 99% sure it's Spear Pillar. Um, which is basically, if you didn't know, it's where you encounter Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina in Diamond, Pill, and Platinum, respectively, for the first time. Well, you catch Giratina in the Distortion World, but you get to the Distortion World through a portal that opens up at, at Mount at Spear Pillar. Um, and yeah, that is in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, um, and we can't really find, so far, it's in the picture frame, I do believe it's Silco it was at, um, and I don't believe anybody's found anything that particularly could relate to Gen 8 without us already knowing what Gen 8, pardon me, already is. Um, which, make, which is making me think. Game Freak are just like Nintendo; they're unpredictable. Th like nobody can predict what Nintendo or Game Freak are gonna do tomorrow. It would not surprise me if tomorrow Nintendo revealed a major game, uh, or was like, "Hey guys, N64 Classic is releasing t today, so go out and buy it." I, that would not surprise me, to be honest. I'd be Excited as all hell, but I was like, yeah, that's Nintendo, you never know what they're going to do. Um, but, everybody is just assuming that they're going to do Gen 8. Which is just like, it rem it's very much reminding me of the attitude we had back after X and Y. We, we were presuming Z version. But no, we got all as. So. What I think they may be doing this time, again, is tricking us. Just like main core series game. And it's like, oh yeah, core series, Gen 8 then. And that is what most people defaulted to, but they never said Gen 8. They just said core series, which the remakes are core, are core series. Um, heck, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sire were Alpha Sapphire. Were basically Z version. It was basically confirmed that they were basically the sequels to X and Y. So that means it is very possible that the next Pokemon games that are coming in 2019 are not Gen 8, but Diamond, Dun Pearl remakes or Platinum remake. I would prefer Platinum remake. Platinum was the best out of the three. Um, but it would not surprise me in the slightest. I mean. Not outside of the realm of possibility, and we've had hints to Gen 4 remakes in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and so far we know there's no Gen 8 hints. Um, uh, I, I might I might do a bit of research, but and either you know put I edit it onto the end of this video or make another video talking about this. But right now, at least in my head, I think Gen 4 re remakes are the most likely. Then Gen 8, just barely, just like a hair, just like a hair of difference, basically. Um, and uh, um, yeah, the and I know the only thing I really have to support this right now is a picture frame in the Pokemon Let's Go Picture and Eevee. Uh, very odd wording, and. Uh, um, the fact that Game Freak and Nintendo are very unpredictable. Not the strongest, um, well, I guess you could call this a theory, prediction theory, I've ever had. But, 
it makes sense. Like, I don't think there's anything that currently contradicts this being a possibility. Um, maybe Nintendo are looking back at the past and it's like, maybe people are right. Maybe there are too many Pokemon. Maybe, maybe we should focus more on like remakes and let's go style games rather than just implement making new game rather than making new games with new Pokemon and power creep and then just making the older Pokemon even more useless and and probably just getting even more flag from fans because then there's Pokemon that people will always hate. I mean I'm not say I'm not saying that there won't be a Gen 8. But I'm thinking maybe just maybe Game Freak might be leaning towards more remake style games and let's go style rather than focusing on new regions because while there is not a specific need for a diamond pull or platinum remake because I could go on eBay and get one for they are a bit, a little bit expensive because the Pokemon games they, re they retain their value quite well um, but I could get one quite easily but it would be for the DS Ah, what could run on my 3DS, but wouldn't get any benefits from running it on my 3DS. You, you're still limited to the Gen 4 Pokemon. Um, ah, and uh, you, just you still have the limited limitations of the DS, where you know, put remake on the Switch. You don't have the limitations of the 3DS. Your DS, you have the limitations of the Switch, and. It would be one of those things where I would love to go back and replay Generation 4. Um, uh, yeah, so. That's basically my thoughts. Well, you know, why I've been thinking about this. Because, well, if you if you know, like, something they may have said or something that, uh, that basically says, yeah, no, Gen 4 remakes, it's not going to be Gen 4 remakes, it's definitely Gen 8. And not, and I'm not just talking about um, 4chan leaks, or more like 4chan supposed leaks, I'm talking about actual statements from Game Freak, Nintendo or the Pokemon Company, or, or um, toys, um, or whatever, um, so yeah, now, there was, I think there was also like the bell, no, it was um, Ho-Oh's Tower in from gold and silver, well actually, eh, well, well actually more like hard gold and soul silver because you don't really see the bell tower in the original but because of the new capabilities of the DS you actually saw like Ho-Oh flying in which you didn't in the original so you would probably say it was it's more based off the DS versions um, uh, which like I said hard gold and soul silver Gen 4. So that could be another reference to Gen 4 if you want to take it that way. So, again, it would not surprise me if they remade D Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Heck, I would love it if they remade Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum and added, um, basically, Hargon added, um, you know, Johto and Kanto as post game. Um, I think that would be an utterly amazing game. Like, um, but yeah, what do you think? You know, do you agree with me that Game Freak might try and pull a fast one on us and uh, be like, ah, it's not Gen 8, it's uh, uh, Gen 4 remakes, because we never said it was a, we never said it was Gen 8, we just said core series. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think uh, down in the comment section down below, blah, 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 you know, get all the, you know, everything, every YouTuber says it all by now. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, unless um, some new information comes out. Um, because I am currently recording this at um, 5pm uh, on the, the 3rd of the 12th, so um, yeah that's literally all the information I know about uh, the next 2019 Pokemon games. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye. Okay so I'm just going to tag this on to the end of this uh, before I upload it. Um, I did mention this idea to my friend and he said, uh, well I asked, in the same, all in Gen 7, and it's like, and uh, yeah, this could be a, um, this is all right, all of the, 
Not only Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but also uh, Generation 4 remakes in the same generation. And it occurred to me, if we don't really care about generations, I mean, that's more of a fan thing. Like, even in the big, like, promotion for Sun and Moon, it's just like, 2000 and blah, 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 you know, came, it came, well, the years, it's not like, Generation 1, Generation 2, Generation 3, Generation 4, Generation 5, Generation 6, all comes together in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. No, it goes, 1998, 1999, 2000, and so on. You know, all, all of the years. So, Game Freak aren't really that orientated around year, around generations. Heck, I think even in interviews, I don't really remember any specific um, time any of the like anybody has really mentioned that the the way you know referred to Pokemon games as generations. They only they usually refer to them by name. So. I really don't think uh, Game Freak are that hung up on the idea of a generation. I think they're more interested, I think they, um, you know, they're more about, it's more about um, each individual game or the or the year or whatever. Anyway, uh, again, tell me what you think about it, about this idea in the comment section below, blah blah blah, you know the drill, bye bye.